Hi guys, my name is Andy Moore from the Infinity Racing Team and in this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how we build our shocks uh, and the importance of making sure everything's free, the shaft in the o-ring is free and uh, the ball end at the bottom has free movement uh, and this should offer you the, the best chance to have the most traction from your car. Okay, so we'll do a run through of uh, how I normally build a shock from start to finish. So, normally start off with the piston. Uh, and first we slide on, turn the small washer and then double check on the piston. When you first put it on, there's a, a bigger recess on one side and that lines up with the shim there. And then you take a very small countersunk screw Carefully screw that on. And take the short pliers to make sure it's tight. And you can see you're left with a, a flush fit for the top of the piston so it, there's more clearance for the bottom of the shock ladder. And then the next thing, uh, take the O-ring and just put a little bit of, the, I use Axon, Axon grease, the shock grease. You can also use uh, shock oil. And then take the shock body, place the piston into the shock body and then slide the O-ring over the shock shaft into the recess and then you can put the, the rod guide in next make sure everything lines up and then you can screw on the bottom cap just take care when you tighten it make sure everything there's no binding or anything you can tighten that up and then it, the shaft should be nice and free in the shot body and then you're ready for the next step Okay, so then next what we need to do is screw on the, the, the shop bottom part. So take the shop pliers, just carefully wind that on. A good starting point for uh, the setting here is uh, 9.5 millimeters from the top of the, the shop plastic here to the bottom of the shop body. We measure here 9.6, just make it a little bit shorter. You get to 9.5. Uh, then we take the the spring adjuster and screw that onto the shock body. And next up is fill in the oil. Okay, so for for this video, I'm going to use the uh, 475 Infinity Oil. Uh, the first thing is we just Fill the shock body all the way to the top. And then you want to take the take the shock and pump the piston up and down, maybe between five and ten times, just slowly to release the air bubbles that are trapped from below. And then you can use a, a shock pump like this ride one that I have here, or you can just leave the leave the shocks to sit for about five minutes, like I'm going to do. We'll speed this part up. Okay, so now all the air bubbles are out. We are ready to close the shock. 
and uh, ninety percent of the time we use uh, zero rebound. Um, so there's a few different ways you can do it, but this is my this is my method. So basically, you want the shot to be pretty much full to the top. You can maybe take just a little bit out, um, and then the first thing I do is put the bladder on the top, just rest it on top, and then just slowly push it down. And you can take a driver and just hold hold it onto the top of the shot body with a light pressure and at the same time push the shot shaft up and you should see the excess oil start to come out from the top and you can push it all the way then just wipe off the excess from around the outside you can use a tissue And then we take the, the shock cap, and place it carefully on top. Slowly tighten it down. Wipe off any excess. Should be left with the shot as no air bubbles, zero rebound. Okay, so that's the building of an IF 14 2 shot with zero rebound. This is going to give your car the most consistent handling and under most track conditions, give you the most traction also. So we recommend that you start like this. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon.